then here's his name. We call this guy, there's a sky element here, so it's two hand or two legged sky. And then he's, it says, Kul Kanahau, the sacred Lord of Khan. Then another day and a month and the verb, and then a title, it says Kalam Te. I mean, the highest title you can have. This guy here, the second, the second uh, uh, king, <coughs> is, is, is his name and his title. His name in the second <coughs> king here was one of these Kalam Te lords, the, high, the king of kings or emperor of emperors. Then it has a, a, another day, a day name, and he grasped it in a name right here. <coughs> sacred Lord of Khan. Another day, and a month, and the verb, and the name, and the Sacred Lord of Khan. Day, month, verb, name, Sacred Lord of Khan. Oh. And it keeps on going through all, here's the Khan, 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 Khan. The last, the last king is this guy right here. And he also is a Kalam Te. That's the same glyph here as you see over here. And these are the two kings of all the sequence that are what, king of kings. So they must have been real prow, had a tremendous prowess originally. Um, and uh, these are the guys that we believe now to be pre-classic kings. These are not the king. This pot, this pot was painted, these pots were painted about 700 A.D. But the sequence starts in 392 B.C. Mm -hmm. Oh. So these are the pre-classic kings, and they're buried here somewhere. We don't know wow. what, but they're buried here. And the they're, kings not looted. Kings they're not looted. From that period. Yeah. A thousand years. Yeah. A thousand years later. Wow. Somewhere out there. Yeah. Here. And they're not looted. We know that from the 